Hi guys, my name is Lori and welcome to the Icing Artist. So I thought we'd kick fall off with a fall themed kind of ruffle cake. So I've already baked a six inch round cake and I'm gonna fill it using my buttercream icing. Of course, for all of my recipes, you can go to theicingartist.com. I have all of my recipes free there that you can just download or print or do whatever you'd like with them. So you definitely wanna go there and check it out. I'm just gonna smooth out the center and then stick my second layer on top. I'm gonna push down a little bit so it just squeezes out some of that excess icing. And then spread that around the sides, kind of sealing it in. Now I'm just going to pipe on just a small amount of icing around the outside. We don't wanna to do too much. We're just looking to basically crumb coat our cake at this stage because we're gonna be adding a lot of icing when we go to ruffle it. So I'm just gonna smooth this out. And you can take off any of the excess icing there. And we don't need it perfectly smooth because we are going to be doing this entire cake kind of covered in those ruffles. But this is so none of those crumbs kind of get out of there while we're doing the ruffles. Now I'm gonna use a piece of paper towel and just smooth that out over the top and then over the sides. This is gonna give me a really nice surface to work on. So now I'm gonna use some red food coloring and this is a gel kind of food coloring and I'm just gonna dye some of my buttercream. I'm looking for a nice vibrant red to start off with because I want my colors to fade from red to yellow. I'm gonna put that in a piping bag. This is nice and vibrant. Now using a number 104 with the large side facing upwards, we're gonna kinda do this swooping pattern going up and down making like almost little U shapes as we're going around the cake just like that kind of swooping as we go around now I'm gonna add a little bit more white to my red and add a touch of orange so for every single ruffle layer that we do we're gonna change the color up a little bit and this is so we can do a nice ombre Except we're not doing a traditional ombre where you'd fade from dark to light. We're going to be faded between different colors. As you can see, it's just a little bit lighter. Again, add some more white and a little bit more orange this time. Mix that on up. And we're just going to continue going around the cake. And you'll want to overlap a little bit because we don't want to see any of that white showing through. So make sure you're overlapping your ruffles as you're going around. And we're keeping going, adding a little bit more orange every time. And the color is going to slowly change to be less and less red and more and more orange. going around the top edge of there. And now I'm ready for my yellow. So to the orange, I'm gonna add some white and then add some yellow. Mix on out on up. And then we can start kind of fading into the yellows. Which is really nice because you're gonna get some of those really golden yellowy colors and all these beautiful fall colors. Kate kind of looks like it's on fire too. <laughs> You can always use it for a fire themed birthday party. Now that we're on the top, we're just kind of going around in a circle like this. Same thing you want to the big side, the big side of the tip to be facing down and you're just kind of swooping around in this motion, overlapping each swoop. As you're getting into a tighter circle in the middle, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but you just kind of keep going around this way and then you can just do little ruffles like this. And then you almost want to make a little bud in the middle. Just like that. Very pretty. 
So I hope you guys really enjoyed my fall themed ruffle cake. Now of course this technique can be applied to any kind of theme. So if you guys wanted to do a really pretty kind of princess theme, you could always fade from purple or pink to white. That would be really pretty. Or you could do a nice Tiffany blue fading to white. That's really nice. You can really use the same technique and do it on any style cake for any of your color schemes. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you like this video and you're not currently subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I do lots of videos. So I'd like for you guys to, you know, watch them. <laughs> Anyways, you guys can leave me a comment below. I'd like to know if where you're from, if the leaves are actually changing color. Because around here, we're getting all of these beautiful yellows and oranges and red. And of course, I'm from Canada. So where are you guys from and are the leaves changing where you are? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and take care.